What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB back in the building back with another video Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Now guys, let's get into this really quickly uh, Finally got a chance to watch Anthony Joshua versus Kubrat Pulev uh, Gotta say it was a pretty good fight uh, Kubrat Pulev uh, Tough guy nothing special about him. Uh, he's just a tough rugged competitor but uh anthony joshua proved to be just a little bit too much for uh mr pulev uh stops him in the ninth round guys and i gotta say anthony joshua uh he's really improved guys since the loss to andy ruiz uh i think it was a wake-up call for him uh, he went back to the lab uh worked on some things uh polished up his game and he's looked good ever since, uh, since that second fight when he came out. And he did, uh, you know, did a lot more boxing uh, in the ring with uh, Andy Ruiz. And this fight looks similar as well. Uh, he worked behind the jab a lot. And uh, you can see he didn't look as robotic as he did, you know, before the first Andy Ruiz fight. You know, I seen him moving his head a little bit. Uh, solid footwork going. And like I said, he was working behind the jab. Now the fight itself, uh, third round was where everything really heated up. Uh, he caught he caught Pulev with a uh, counter right hand that sent him uh, falling backwards. Uh, Anthony Joshua pretty much jumped on top of him. Uh, Kubrat was trying to laugh it off like a lot of fighters do when they're actually hurt, and Anthony Joshua stayed on top of him, and you know. Kubrat turned his back towards Joshua uh, into the ropes. Uh, they counted it as a knockdown, and uh, he got knocked down once again in the third round with a with a vicious uh, uppercut that sent him to his back. So uh, that was the first time that uh, Kubrat got knocked down in the fight. The second time, uh, and when he got stopped, was in the ninth round, guys. Uh, when the first time he was. Uh, knocked down with an uppercut as well. Uh, Joshua was working that uppercut in that, that whole fight, guys. He was just working it. But uh, he got knocked down with an uppercut, and then when he got up, uh, Joshua finished him off uh, with a right hand. Uh, it was 99 time for Kubrat Pulev. So, like I said, he was a rugged competitor, but uh, Anthony Joshua was just too much. Uh, I thought Anthony Joshua was on his game. He looked great in this fight tonight, guys. So the talk is now, of course, uh, will he be fighting uh, Tyson Fury for Undisputed? You know, nobody's sure about that because of the situation going on with Fury and Wilder. Uh, you know, the, the stuff that, that's in mediation about their third fight. Uh, Keontae Wilder wants the third fight. I'm not so sure if Tyson Fury does, but uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see uh, if we're gonna get Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury or Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. Uh, either one of those fights is fine with me, you know. But uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Were you impressed uh, with Anthony Joshua? Do you think he looks uh, a lot more polished? Uh, would you wanna see him fight Tyson Fury next? Or would you want to see Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder go at it for a third time? Let me know in the comments section, guys. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.